Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faye. Here, we are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If you're joining for the first time, welcome. Please go ahead and click the bell icon. Stay with us. Here, we are a family together. We're journeying through these difficult times, and we are building this morning on the habit of one hour alone time with God. Let us pray and get into our kickstart one hour alone time with God devotional. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. As we come into this new day, we pray, give us our daily bread. Also, Father, whatever you serve at the table this morning, may we be willing to take and eat and taste and see that the Lord is good. Let us take these messages seriously, dear God, and help us to put all measures in place to make sure we are ready for whatever comes and to make sure we are numbered against the saints, with the, um, among the saints rather, um, in the end of this life's controversy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we start out with our memory text, which this week we recited from Deuteronomy 9. And verse 7 and the memory text says remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart from the day that ye did depart out from the day that ye did depart out of the land of Egypt until the day ye came into this land, thou hast rebelled, thou hast been rebellious against the Lord thy God. Again, it says Deuteronomy 9 and verse 7. Remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt until the until ye came into this land ye have been rebellious against the lord i hope we did get it right let's just read it back to make sure it says in deuteronomy 9 and verse 7 remember and forget not how thou provokest the lord thy god to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of egypt until he came unto this place ye have been rebellious against the lord well we did get it correct even in the second go may god help us to recall in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls even our own this morning's devotional reading comes to us from ellen g white maranatha devotional guide and it is entitled today angelic protection in the time of trouble the key text for this morning's reading is isaiah 26 and verse 20 and it says come my people enter into your enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee hide thyself as it were a little moment until the indignation be overpassed the title of the reading angelic protection in the time of trouble in the day of fierce trial he christ will say come my people enter into the thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed what are the chambers in which they are to hide they are the protection of christ and the holy angels the people of God are not at this time all in one place. They are in different companies in all parts of the earth. I saw the saints leaving the cities and villages and associating together in companies and living in the most solitary places. Angels provided them food and water and while the wicked were suffering from hunger and thirst they had food during the night a very impressive scene passed before me there seemed to be a great conf 
confusion and conflict of armies, a messenger from the Lord stood before me and said, Call your household. I will lead you. Follow me. He led me down the dark passages through a forest, then through the cliffs of mountains, and said, Here you are, safe. There we there were others there who had been led to this retreat. The heavenly messenger said, The time of trouble has come as a thief in the night, and the Lord warned you it would come, as the Lord had warned you it would come. In the time of trouble, just before the coming of Christ, the righteous will be preserved through the ministration of heavenly angels, but there will be no security for the transgressors of God's law. Angels cannot then protect those who are disregarding even one of the divine precepts. In the closing period of earth's history, the Lord will work mightily in behalf of those who stand steadfastly for the right. In the midst of the time of trouble, trouble such as has not since been since the beginning of the earth, since nations will be upon the earth and among the nation. His chosen ones, however, will stand unmoved. Satan will, with all the host of evil, cannot destroy the weakest of God's saints. Angels that excel in strength will protect them, and in their behalf, Jehovah will reveal himself as a God of gods, able to save to the uttermost those who have put their trust in him. Clearly, this morning's devotional is telling us that angelic protection will be given to those who are surrendered and living according to all the teachings and the principles and the commandments and the precepts and the judgments of God in the last days. At that time when the ceiling would have been given out on God's people, we should even correct our thought yesterday to think that some of us will die because truly we will be fully protected even though we might experience some of the agony and it says clearly that we cannot be destroyed. So I pray that we will take this warning, this particular um, special sound of the trumpet that we're getting this morning, this certain sound, and that we will make ourselves ready for this time of trouble, this time of Jacob trouble that is soon to come. So may it be that when it does come, we will be fully surrounded by the angelic forces brought into shelters that will protect us in those times according to the leading of the angelic forces of heaven and Jesus Christ himself. Okay, so we go into our encouragement hymn as we think about the mighty God that we serve and the protection that is sure to be given to us. A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper, he amid the flood of mortals is prevailing. For still our ancient foe that seeks to work us woe, his craft and power are great, and armed with cruel hate, on earth is not his equal. But we serve a great God who in that time will keep us safe shelter us from those storm, storms let us pray heavenly father we thank you dear god for taking us to this place oh god where we can worship you this morning we thank you for the special burn of the trumpet this morning which reminds us that when the time of jacob trouble comes we will be so protected that even with the greatest movement of powers satan and his devils will not be able to cause us any Arm. We thank you for this true knowledge as we correct all the errors that we have in the past, even in the last devotional that we did. And we thank you, dear Jesus, that we are understanding it. Send your Holy Spirit that all of us 
in the hearing of these special blowing of the trumpet will take the warning seriously and as they speak after your face they will find you and all of us will receive our sealing and our full protection in jesus name we pray amen we thank you again for joining us and we pray that you'll continue for one hour seeking and searching after these things which have been these things which have been said this morning like the variants search the scriptures and see if these things are true Happy Sabbath when it comes wherever you are at sunset on Friday today. And please, with the strength, pray for the strength and the empowering of the Holy Spirit to honor the Sabbath all the way through sunset on Saturday. Much love, peace of the Lord be with you. Walk good. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Walk good. But above all, please, walk with God. Happy Sabbath.